A couple of months ago, one of you posted this in the subreddit, a deep water solo bouldering gym in North Carolina. And I was like, hold up, you're telling me I can go deep water soloing without having to go out in nature and there'll be a bunch of kids with their families running around screaming and just being a general nuisance. And it's only an eight hour drive. Sign me up. We're halfway there, I think. Halfway there. We got like four hours left. Yo, that was freaking sick. <laughs> trying every single one getting harder and harder and trying to stay dry the entire time. So this was one of the most stressful videos I've made because uh, I kept calling to make sure they were open and the lady was just dicking me around on the phone the entire time. She was like, we might be open, we might not. What's it to you? And I was like, look, I'm driving eight hours to get out here. I just like to know what days you guys are open. But they were like hippy dippy, rock climbing, outdoorsy types, kayaking, living in, you know, shit out in the woods. And she was like, just come on down, you know, go, go with the flow, brother. Like maybe we'll be open. Just let the wind guide you. The wind's not gonna pay for my gas money, but that turned out to not really be a problem because uh, Ryan drove. I, I didn't pitch in for gas at all. Yeah, check this out. The Savage Slim Jim. Have you ever seen this before? Look at this monster. That is a fatty. Yeah, I didn't show it to. I didn't show it to oh Ryan God. yet. I don't know if it's safe to eat. How much time do we pass with this video? A minute. Hell Let's go. Yeah. Can't see you at all. <laughs> Ten minutes out. We almost made it. This is a lot of work. This place better be open. Playing some Portal 2. Portal 2. I don't think this thing even has a microphone on it. I'm just realizing. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, the next day we showed up and they were in fact open. And I was talking to some of the staff. I was like, oh, thank God you guys were open today. I was worried you guys might be closed. And he was like, what are you talking about? We're always open on Saturdays. I was also a little uh, taken aback by the fact that this was not a climbing gym. I thought this was like just a climbing gym, right? Like this deep water solo climbing facility full of like crushers, strong climbers, you know, just like a normal gym. Uh, no, it was more like an amusement park. There were <laughs> no rock climbers there at all. It was all kids and their families and just like middle-aged fat white people, which it's North Carolina. I don't know what else, what else I expected. They're open, thank God. Uh, to avoid the lines, we were gonna do like trying every single one getting harder and harder and trying to stay dry the entire time. But there's a lot of kids here doing the easier ones, so I might just skip to like the V5-ish. Whoa. All right, I got chalk. That was a mistake to not use. We're restarting the challenge. That first one doesn't count. Starting on the easiest one, work our way up. Oh, you got that. Swimmies. I don't do cardio. <laughs> You're tired from just a five foot swim? Did do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> So Ryan and I were at this facility all day. We were there the entire day. And I know you're probably like, there's only like 12 boulders. You, you couldn't have just banged that out in like an hour and then been done. Well, the problem is uh, because this wasn't a gym, there were just tons of people flooding in constantly. Kids, adults, elderly people, uh, just fucking weirdos. <laughs> and there were lines 
everywhere. There was a line for every single boulder, and they're supposed to get harder as they went, so I figured the lines would be shorter the harder they got, but you, nobody here rock climbed, so they didn't know how to read a boulder, so the lines for the hard ones were just as long. They were like lambs to the slaughter, just trying to get on the start and falling in the water right away. But there was one wall that nobody was on pretty much the entire time, the actual deep water solo wall. Now I know what you guys are thinking right now. Climbing stuff. That was like a 511. Uh, how did you not send that? L let me describe this place a little bit to you. Imagine an army of nine-year-olds with greasy, wet hands, soaking wet sneakers that they just got out of the bathroom with, walking through all the piss, and they're just throwing themselves at the wall over and over again. Every hold is soaking wet. Your shoes are soaking wet. You can't even get to the start because on the approach, the holds are so wet, they soak up all your chalk. Half the moves on this thing require you to smear. You can't smear when your shoes are soaking wet. It was like a, a goddamn war zone in there. I still have nightmares. I never stood a chance. Nah, I just suck. <laughs> Yeah, so the uh, the don't get wet challenge didn't work. Pretty much got wet on every send. I forgot that you have to jump off, so. What's up? That's our buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, now we're just hanging out. We got two more sessions left. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy. So at this point, we only had like an hour left, and uh, I'd skipped like all the easier boulders, because you know, I'm out here trying to send hard shit. I'm trying to put on a show for the boys. And, and the girls, you know, whoever's watching, but it, it's mostly the boys. So I went back to try out some of the easier stuff.
crazy. Yeah, I was right. V1, V2s are fucking boring. Nobody wants to watch me uh, shove my lazy ass up a fucking jug festival when I still hadn't sent the hardest boulder yet. So I brought my uh, my good shoes. And they're probably ruined now. These are a uh, these are forty dollar Climaxes from Amazon. These are my most expensive shoes, and I'm pretty sure they might have <laughs> done some damage to my feet. Ooh! <laughs> Looky there! Look at those babies! Look at that! <laughs> Is it just blue in here? Like a zombie now. I know. It would look normally, I would think I should go to the hospital if I saw that. I knew it was gonna be bad. <laughs> I was like, I, I could feel it. Check this out the blue foot box jump. Blue foot box jump. <laughs> Dude, my feet are like blue, blue. You look like, your feet look like a zombie. I know. Here, check out mine now. Yeah, look at Ryan's uh, look a little grosser. I got like gangrene. That's just not a good color. Blue at least is clear that it's something else. Yellow just looks like, yeah, you got some some weird shit going on. <laughs> oh, ew, what is this? It's like, like a, under your skin. It's a blue pimple. Like, <laughs> ew. Disgusting. So at this point, the wall was closed. We were basically done, right? But we had an eight hour drive ahead of us and we had just gotten out of the car like 12 hours ago. So we were really just trying to find anything to do to fill the time. And luckily they had a bouldering wall. Check this schniz out. The schniz dino. Ooh, <laughs> <aw>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. Did you see it rotate? The hole did? Yeah, and it what? pinched my finger. Oh, look, it's sideways now. Well, now it's harder. Oh. <laughs> so we decided to just kind of fuck around the rest of the time until, uh, you know, they just kicked us out, which <laughs> they actually did. Do you have a day pass? Yeah, we do. We lost our bracelets at the Whitewater uh, solo. Awesome. And have you checked in with anyone? Yeah, we yeah. talked to her before you got here. Okay, but I'm so sorry you are not allowed to climb right now. Over the rainforest. My uh, approach shoes are pretty blue. Not looking good. Whoa, the <laughs> mic! Can you really hear the, the quality sound of my... Hello? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think of... Welcome America to climbing stuff. That's all.